using laplace transform solve d square y by dt square plus dy by dt is equal to t square plus 2t given that y is equal to 4 and y dash is equal to minus 2 when t equal to 0 that is y of 0 is equal to 4 and y dash of 0 is equal to minus 2 d square y by dt square can be written as y double dash dy by dt can be written as y dash the right hand side is t square plus 2t. Now taking Laplace transform on both sides, Laplace transform of y double dash plus Laplace transform of y dash is equal to Laplace transform of t square plus 2 into Laplace transform of t. Now Laplace transform of y double dash is s square, Laplace transform of y minus s, y of 0 minus y dash of 0. Then Laplace transform of y dash is S Laplace transform of y minus y of 0 is equal to Laplace transform of t square is t 2 factorial by s cube plus 2 into Laplace transform of t is 1 by s square. Now Laplace transform of here if you see s square Laplace transform of y and s Laplace transform of y. So L of y is taken common, so you will be having S square plus S first term. Now y of 0, y of 0 is what? 4. 4 into minus S is minus 4S. Y dash of 0, y dash of 0 is minus 2. Minus of minus will become plus. And then we have minus y of 0. y of 0 is 4. So minus 4. Right hand side, 2 factorial is 2 by S cube plus 2 by S square. So, left hand side, s square plus s into L of y, we have written, minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2, when it goes to the other side, it becomes plus 2, minus 4s, when it goes to the other side, it becomes plus 4s. Right hand side, you take LCM, s cube is the LCM, so you will be getting 2 plus 2s. Now here, s square plus s, s is common term. So, S into S plus 1. S into S, S square. S into 1 is S. Now, what you do is, keep L of Y here. That is, divide this equation throughout by S into S plus 1. That's what we are going to do now. So, dividing throughout by S into S plus 1. Now, we here we have 2 into 1 plus S by S cube into S into S plus 1 plus 4s by s into s plus 1 plus 2 by s into s plus 1. So here, if dividing by s into s plus 1, both the term will get cancelled and we have this as the right hand side. Now, after simplification and by doing partial fractions method, we will be getting 2 by s power 4 here if you see 1 plus 2s and 1 plus 2s gets cancelled and you will be having 2 by s power 4. Here ss gets cancelled 4 by s plus 1 and then we have 2 by s into s plus 1. Now this term will come as it is. This term will come as it is. Next term will also be like this. Now you have to work, apply partial fractions method, that is 2 by s into s plus 1 is equal to a by s plus b by s plus 1. And finally, finding the value for a and b, you will be getting, by partial fractions method, you will be getting 2 by s minus 2 by s plus 1. Okay. Now, s plus 1, here and here we have in the denominator. So, 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 by s plus 1. This term will be as it is 2 by s and here we have 2 by s power 4. Now 2 is taken constant. Here it is in frequency domain that is L of y. Now if you take inverse you will be getting in the time domain y of t. So 2 into Laplace transform of 1 by s power 4. 2 into Laplace, Laplace inverse of 1 by s power 4. Laplace inverse of 1 by s. And 2 into Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus 1. So we all know the formula Laplace transform of t power n is n factorial by s power n plus 1. 
So that means 4 means 3 plus 1, so 3 factorial. To compensate for that, you have to divide by 3 factorial. Therefore, 2 Laplace inverse 1 by s power 4 is 2 into t cube by 3 factorial plus 2 into Laplace in inverse of 1 by s is 1 and 2 into Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus 1 is e power minus t. Now here, this term and this term 2 is common. 2 into 1 plus e power minus t plus t cube by 3. This is the answer. If you want, you can simplify further, but this is enough. This is the final answer. Hope you have understood this problem. Thanks for watching this video. Nandri.